Hey everybody, I just wanted to show you a real cool tool that Santa Heinz is offering um, to all of its students, faculty, staff, we all have it. So if you have a Chromebook or a Mac, this is a really great way for you to have access to all the Microsoft uh, Office options. And if you have a, a PC, but it's older and you don't want to update to them, you know, you don't want to spend the money to get the newest version of Office, it's fine because it's offered to you for free online. So what you do is you go into any search engine, I just happen to be in Bing, but you can just do Office 365 and then log in. See, it's the, the first search there. So when this comes up, you're gonna click on this and it'll take you to the Office login page. So what you'll do is you'll log in using your Sienna Heights information. So if Sienna Heights makes you change your password, your login password will change here, but your username will always stay the same. So I'm going to log in with mine here and show you how it's done. So it'll find you and then boom, the background will change. You'll look at campus. You'll know that you're in the right place. There's our logo. There's our flag. You know that you're in the right place because this is Sienna Heights. There's a picture there. So now you're going to enter your password and you can choose to stay signed in or not. If you're going to be on all day, just say stay signed in and then the mail doesn't log you out at the end of the day, it's your call. Once this opens, you'll see that you'll have Outlook, which is your mail, but you'll also have access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote. All of these amazing Office tools are available to you. So what you can see is this is my personal thing. So here's a document that I was working on with one of the advisors. Here's something from one of my English faculty, a different English faculty, they all sent me these documents. So as soon as you log in, you'll see the most recent documents. These were all, this was a shared document that Mary and I had. These were sent to me, as you can see, from my faculty members. Pretty cool. Those, that means these are attached to emails. I haven't even downloaded them, but because they're in my Outlook email, it's recognizing they're there. So I just want to show you a few things. So if you click on Outlook, it will take you to your webmail. I'm not gonna show you what the inside of my email looks like, but that's how you'll get to it. So when you first log in to Office 365, just like I showed you, this is how you'll get to your Sienna Heights email, your main email, not your Canvas email, but your Sienna Heights email. Because I know that through class, you get things from your instructor through your Canvas email, but sometimes uh, the university writ large sends things out. And so it's good to check your Outlook email. But let's just go to Word which is the most common program people are gonna use, but you could see Excel is there. So I'm just gonna do new blank document. So it, this works very much, if you're familiar with Google Docs, it's going to be very similar. It's where you're just creating a full Word document, it's saved in the cloud. So I'm just gonna say, my words here. I'm gonna make sure that I put it in Times New Roman and 12 point font, of course, because that's what APA requires. I can add bullet points. I can do, you know, centered. I could center it if I wanted to, just like regular Word. Everything that you want to do is here layout. So you can do indentations, which you should probably just leave alone. Um, but you can do spacing. Everything that you would normally do in Word is here. So let's go ahead and call this a test assignment. And it's going to save it as a docx, as you can see. So that's done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to exit out of there. And I'm going to refresh my page. And what you're going to see is right here, test is now right at the top, right? So if you click on it and open it right there, there it is, just as I left it. Now the cool thing is, is you can share it. So if you are in a course where there's a peer review option, you could go ahead and share it with whomever. So you would use that person's Sienna Heights email and that person would be able to share and you could go back and forth and do whatever you wanted there. You can copy the link, you can you know, email it through Outlook. There's all kinds of things. But if you do a share right here, then what you're doing is your colleague, your classmate could read your document. So, in, so it may be something that an instructor wants you to do um, where the instructor wants you to share a document so that he or she could give you feedback on it. That's an option. Not every instructor is going to do that, obviously, but it's a good way to just to share with classmates. If you're doing peer review or you've got, you know, someone in your class and you want to give each other feedback, this is an easy way to do it. You don't have to email it. It's just saved right in there. It's pretty great. Now, because this is in the cloud, it auto saves. So anything I type, I don't, there's nothing. Oh, 
look, I made a typo. So I'm gonna go back and fix it. And you can see that it was underlined in red, right? Because there were two words, two of the same word and it was underlined in red. So you get word uh, spell check and grammar check is included in here, which is excellent. Under the review tab, right? You can do all those things that you need to do. Or you can check from that, you can add comments off to the side, it's pretty amazing. But what you'll notice is it's auto-saved. I didn't click a button. No matter what I do, just me hitting three spaces down, it's saying saving right there at the top. So it's done. So it's it, obviously you need to be connected to the internet to do this. But the other thing I wanna show you, so let's say you're using this in Chrome or on a Mac. You're like, okay, well now I'm all done. I finished my document, I need to upload it to Canvas. So you come over here to the file tab and you do save as and you can download a copy. This is save a copy online, which is what it normally is. Save a copy, download it to your computer. So you're gonna click on this and it's gonna say your document is ready and you download it and it's going to say test right to my desktop here. So it's gonna say that this is in my documents. These are some things that I got from other students and different things so I can call it whatever I want, save. And it will be there in my documents, whether I'm uh, wherever you download it. So if Chromebooks generally save it just to downloads, but you could put it on your desktop, I suppose. Um, I don't know I, I, where it would save in a Mac, but you decide where you want to save it. And then you'd go into Canvas and you'd upload it from there just like you normally would. So you can add page numbers in here. You know, everything that you would normally do in a Word document, you can do here, but just totally online. You can add page breaks, you can add pictures. Here's how you do page numbers. Everything you want is right here and it's totally free online. So that's the beauty about this this login situation by using Office 365 login, it takes you to all of this. It gives you access to your Sienna email and the entire Office suite. And you can play around in there. You just simply go up here to the app launcher and you can, you know, this will take you back to your email. But you can even look at all the apps. So you can get to access to your calendar, all kinds of fun stuff in here. And you can just see it goes on and on. You can do explore all your apps and it just takes you to really everything that's available to you uh, built in as part as being a Siena Heights student. So if you want it, it's there. You can see all the apps too. And this is just free. Teams where you can, you know, create a team and work together there. Video chat function. It's really great. Again, use it. So if you have a Chromebook or you have a Mac, you can no longer say, oh, I don't know. I, I can't, I have to send it to you as pages or I have to send it to you as a Google Doc. You don't. You can type it in Google Doc. You can type it in pages if you want. Copy and paste it over into this and you're good to go. Okay, if you have any questions, of course, ask your instructor.